They got back in 2019. They won 107 games that year. They led the World Series 3-2 and then fell short. Last year, they got there again. They were favored again and fell to the Braves. Another shot and an out away. Fly ball down the right field line. Tucker comes on. Kyle Tucker. This time they finish the job. The Houston Astros world champions. What a ride it's been to get to this point. From Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas, tonight it's game one of the 2022 World Series as the National League champion Philadelphia Phillies face off against the champions of the American League, the Houston Astros. Making his 33rd career postseason start and trying to pick up his first ever win in the World Series. 0-6 and six in seven starts lifetime. His seven pitch to Kyle Schwarber. Hits him! Working. And he starts the World Series with a strikeout. No score, Astros and Phillies as we start the bottom of the second. He golfs one here. Deep right field. Kyle Tucker puts the Astros on the board. See you later! Blanking in both of those on high fastball. Breaking ball. Got it, strike three! Four strikeouts for Verlander. Kyle Tucker! Astros lead 5-0. The Astros have never blown a five-run lead in their postseason history. And Castellanos goes down to that soft stuff. Third hit of the inning, and the Phillies are on the board. It's 5-1. Harper will score. Castellanos on his way into third. They're going to wave him home, and it's a two-run double. Here in the top of the fourth inning, it's a new ball game at 5-3. Go ahead, run at the plate. JT Rio Muto. Curveball, but in the air, left center field. On the run is Alvarez. It's deep. Back toward the wall. Alvarez won't get it. Marshall score. Here comes Schwarber. He'll score. It's a two-run double for JT. Yes. And the Phillies have tied this game up at five. Bases loaded and a tie game in the seventh. Got him! Strike three! Chase one low and away! And an extra innings duty for the Astros. Two. Going back on a Tucker to the track. It's gone! Yeah, he tied it in the fifth. He gives them the lead in the tenth. To be able to catch as much as he does and to be able to perform the way he does really, really impressive. Bounces one to third for Sosa. Steps into the throw in time! And the Phillies take game one! I mean, it's incredible. It's definitely a I mean, a perfect game of the series, right? We Again, we're hitting the mouth. We're down five. We face adversity, and we do what we always do. You know, we found a way to just pass the baton and keep something going. Phillies take game one. Robert Valdez for the Astros trying to get this series evened up as it heads back to Philadelphia for game three on Monday. You know, you can't bring yesterday into today or else it'll continue. You have to and just realize it's a new day and hopefully we have a different outcome. So Fromber issues a one-out walk with nothing more. And we're through a half inning in game two of the World Series. So fastball and it's banged in the left. Jose Altuve, a sight for sore eyes for Houston fans. Only hit fastballs. He got a breaking ball and the Astros waste no time. Two pitches into the game. one nothing Houston. Slugger. In the air the other way. Schwarber goes back onto the track. He's at the wall and it's off it. The Astros all over things right away. How about three straight doubles and a 2 nothing lead? Fastball. Strike three. Bullseye. He was looking for the curve and he got the cheese. Seven strikeout for Bomber Valdez. He's retired five in a row. And here's Bregman with two gone and a runner at first. It's one in the air to deep left center field. Back it goes. It is gone. Alex Bregman strikes again in the World Series. And the Astros again lead 5 0. And here's Dusty Baker. Bomber Valdez is going to get a great show of appreciation from this sellout crowd. Just a dusty order for this postseason. Rounds one to second for Altuve. He's got it. And the Astros have a win in game two. The World Series is tied 1-1 as it heads back to Philadelphia. You know, they came in here and did what they were supposed to do. And they, they got the split 1-1. So it's going to be up to us to um, you know, go into their park and play three on the road and, and play good baseball. I'm really looking forward to experiencing the crowd. I've heard a lot about it. You know, I've been pretty open. I'm a really big fan of the game and I think it'll be a, a great moment you know I think it's just a collective group of you know guys that don't let the moment get too big and guys that are just 
still out here having fun. The Astros came back with a 5-2 win in Game 2. And now Ranger Suarez with his first start since the Division Series. 2-2. Two -two. One, two, three, first. He goes to the He stays on the breaking ball and gets the one in the middle of the plate. Loud noise. The colors to Harper. It's good. Right center field. Lightning strikes. 2 nothing Phil. Simply amazing. Harper here at home has homered on back-to-back -back swing. Starts the second and rips one to left field over Alvarez and gone! Ambrose frees it! Mark, it's a fly ball to right field. He can't get it! It's off the top of the wall and gone! The third home run for the Phillies! They've now hit 15 home runs in five games in two innings to a left hand hitter. Swung on into the air, center field, going back on his performing, back toward the wall! It's our fan base. I mean, plain and simple. I mean, they keep us going, keep us fired up. You know, when we were able to come out on the field today, they were all here ready to go, and they believe in us, and we believe in them. So it's been, it's been great. Phillies tonight try to get a real leg up in this best of seven series after a game three win last night. Go Phillies! Christian Javier, who has gone from low level prospect to a reliever in the majors, to John, one of the hottest pitchers in baseball. So one, two. And strikes him out, getting a chase with a slider. Five years old. Pitcher with a quiet and growing confidence. Nick Castellanos. Castellanos down swinging. And Christian Javier blowing his fastball by Phillies hitters. Left hand. Jordan Elvis gets hit by the first pitch. And that's how Houston gets the first run of game four. Jose Alvarado comes out of the bullpen. And he plucks Alvarez with the bases loaded. And you've got a right-handed hitter in Bregman up there. And Bregman lines this one over to right field. Racing over Cassianos. He won't get there. That's going to go to the wall. Altuve scores. Right behind him, Pena. He will score. Three to nothing, Gurriel. Astro. Ground ball base hit. Yuli Gurriel with a two-strike hit. Houston with a 5-0 lead. And Christian Javier absolutely masterful. Six no-hit innings has struck out nine. Yeah, I just came out holding on to God, trying to be positive, trying to take the strike zone. It's funny, my parents today told me I was going to throw a no-hitter, and thanks to God, I was able to accomplish that. Strikes out the side. The Astros in total control as we go to the eighth inning. Astros have a no-hitter through seven innings. Rafael Montero, the third pitcher of the game. Shoots one to right, that hangs up! And the Astros have eight no-hit innings. Now Presley's trying to finish the game. Got a chase and one gone in the ninth. Real Muto. Bouncing ball to third. Picked by Brickman. Three across in time. The Astros have a World Series no-hitter. This World Series is all square at two games apiece. Man, it's a strange series. I mean, they hit five home runs yesterday and then no hits today. I mean, this, this is a daily game and filled with daily emotion. You know, we were no hit earlier in the year in, in New York and some Mets. And we came back the next day and won. So these guys, they got a short memory. We from Philly and we fight. Never give up the fight. Fighting like the Phillies. Whoever wins this game will have a big advantage going forward. Houston, we got a problem. The series is tied at two, and this best of seven has become a best of three. Altuve can walk home, and the Astros have a one nothing lead. One thing remains, he's yet to win a game in the World Series. Schwarber leads off. Swung on, line deep to right. This one's got a chance. Get up. It is gone. Game tied on a leadoff home run by Kyle Schwarber. Jeremy Payne had hit 22 home runs this year. It's a kid who didn't hit more than six in a season in college. Leads off this fourth. Fly ball to left. It sends Schwarber back onto the track. At the wall. Payne has done it again. He's given the Astros a 2-1 lead in game five. Represents the tying run. Got his strike three. 
Went with the yacker on 2-2. The second inning in a row, they've had a man 90 feet away with nobody out. Ground ball to first, that's a fair ball. Hoskins knocks it down, and his only play is to tag Alvarez. Altuve in to score, and it's 3-1. The Phillies, 0 for their last 20 with runners in scoring position. Gene Segura waiting his whole career for a moment like this. Rex on the right center field and breaks the streak. Castellanos in to score. Start to third. Clutch Gene comes through. It's a 3-2 game in the eighth. 1-2. the bench for Gurriel and Trey Mancini keeps the Astros in front. Now it's Real Muto. The game one hero has been solid since. Fly by right center field. McCormick on the move. He's at the track. He's at the wall. Makes the grab. Taz McCormick. Two gone in the ninth. He pitched to Nick Castellanos. Bouncing ball to short. Pena's there. Astros take game five. In a thriller, 3-2 the final score. Said it's never easy, it's never gonna be easy. That's why you get seven games. Here in game six, we've got a game two rematch, a great pitching matchup. Zach Wheeler for the Phillies, Framber Valdez for the Astros. As they go for the World Series, and what a ride it's been to get to this point. Hammer got him! Strike three, Valdez! Punches out the side. So runner in scoring position for Jose Altuve. Struck out his first time. He strikes him out. Sticks with the fastball and ends the third. Kyle Schwarber to lead off against Framber Valdez. Not desperate time yet. This inning for the Phillies. Best chance of scoring. It's a fastball and it's cranked to right field and it's gone. Astros blink first. Schwarber with a blast, and it's 1-0 in the sixth. The Phillies now, the Astros trying to answer. So they've got Altuve at third, representing the tying run. They've got Pena at first, representing the go-ahead run. Zach Wheeler's finished. Jose Alvarado's coming on to face Jordan Alvarez. On a 2-1, Alvarez hits a high drive center field. Veerling's back. This game is turned upside down. See you later. See you later. A three-run home run. Three-run on Alvarez. Three to one! What a shot! On the way for Jordan! Once again! And it's madness in our house again! They got back in 2019. They won 107 games that year. They led the World Series 3-2 to two and then fell short. Last year they got there again. They were favored again and fell to the Braves. Another shot and an out away. Fly ball down the right field line. Tucker comes on. Kyle Tucker. This time they finish the job. The Houston Astros, world champions. They beat the Phillies tonight, went the World Series, four games to two. Dusty Baker has his ring in his 25th year as a manager. Well, it's been in baseball for more than 50 years. He's a baseball legend. He has the ring that everybody wanted him to get. ALCS MVP, World Series MVP, Jeremy Pena. Congrats. Before the World Series. the world to all of us. It means the world to our families. It means the world to the city. Everyone's so fired up. I'm so thankful um, and blessed to be a part of this team. And uh, honestly, can't wait to get to spring training next year.